let's talk about the wedding of Akilah Relaford Gould and Andrew Gould. Because this was a wedding. And look at their stunning cover on Black Bride magazine. And look at Akilah's solo stunning cover. She looks so beautiful. This makeup is everything. The hair is everything. The dress, the veil, just what a beauty. First, we need to start by talking about Akilah because hello, hello, do you see this dress? Do you see her in this dress? Gorgeous. This dress is something I hadn't seen before and I actually like it. It's very different and she looked stunning in it. And let me tell you, I would have never thought to do blue and white flowers for a wedding, but Akilah has turned me because the blue and white theme throughout this wedding is so beautiful and executed so perfectly. Look at the blue dress's hair, just beautiful. And don't even get me started on the huppa. Don't even get me started on the huppa. Because the way I gasped when I saw this photo, it is so beautiful. Look at the detail. Like, this is a lush, extravagant huppa, and it is just perfection. Everything about this wedding was perfection, including, like I said, the color scheme. Just stunning. Everyone is stunning. I mean, are you kidding me? And the bouquet? Perfection. Her face, perfection. Their faces, perfection. And the gorgeous florals continued into the reception. I mean, just look at this. I can't, I can't. And this cake is huge and so pretty. I mean, she thought of everything down to the little details. Look at the A's in the ice cube. Look at how stunning this invitation is. They even have their own logo. Speaking of stunning, look at the bride. This makeup and hair is perfection. I love a good black and white photo. And of course they had a black and white photo booth and the photos are perfection. Here she is with her parents and everyone just looks so happy. Also, let's have a moment for her rehearsal dinner dress because she looks beautiful. This pink on her is so good. And here's a look at the ring, a beautiful oval diamond with a halo. And one more time for the huppah. 